Here we go. Week 11 gambling show. The NFL. This is the Hardline Sports Talk. Michael Merlo. John Michael Masiri. JM. Mike, Mike. JM. Mike. Give me an update. Standings update. Where are we at? Well, you sure you want this update, Mike? Yeah. All right, well, it's, gonna... it's on the screen right now. It's really not pretty, but um, we gonna... both had good weeks last week. That's yeah. what I will say. Um, we both hit our three stars. We both had our one stars, but we didn't hit our two stars. But I'm I, having a hard time with the two star. I can't get the two star right to save my yeah. life. You know, I think I have two. I, you know, just looking, the three star's been great for me, but the two stars, I just I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out. I have, you know, I I haven't had a perfect week yet. Like I've been having a good season, but I haven't had a perfect week yet. I gotta I've had a perfect, have a perfect week. week. I've had a perfect week, and I'm gonna have a perfect week this week because I feel really so good am I. about We're, these three games. Let's and a go. Lot of games. Let's make a pact. Uh, I need to tie. Six for six I need combined. To, I need to tie you, so. Well, yeah. I mean, you're a little behind. I do. I mean, yeah. You know what? This week, we, we can have both perfect okay. weeks. Let me start, though. Okay? Well, I'll yeah, start. Take it easy. I think you started the last time we did, yeah, so I will no. start. Uh, my one-star pick is the Carolina Panthers plus 10 and a half at home against the Dallas Cowboys. Wow. And I just want to say this, Okay. I'm not going to advise this, but I'm not going to advise against this. But I would take the Carol I would sprinkle the Carolina Panthers money line in this spot. Okay, the Dallas Cowboys played well against the Eagles in a loss. Then they had a home game against the Giants. They obviously destroyed them, beat them by 30 plus. This is a spot here I look for a letdown spot from the Cowboys and Dak Prescott. Uh, the Panthers have played decently well at home. They've covered a couple of spreads at home. They won their only game at home. The defense, just for some some reason, plays better at home. Give me the 10.5. But I think Dallas can be walking into one here, just feeling riding high, and they might get smacked in the face by Frank wow. Wright, Bryce Young, and, and the Carolina Panthers. But give me the 10.5 all day, Bold. every day, and twice on Sunday. Risky. I, you know, I... I is it not a three star because of just the fact that the Panthers suck? Like yes. That, yeah. If okay. it was anything else, right. if the Panthers have shown me anything, if if when they weren't with my three star two weeks ago, right. and Bryce Young threw two freaking pick sixes, yeah. the same <laughs> goddamn guy, <laughs> then yeah, they might be my three star this week. But I have a little trust issues with them. Right. So I don't know, one. man. Like I think he might be running for his life on on Sunday. But well, hey, I get it. Uh, all right, my one star. So, this game, immediately as I saw it, I was like, oh, four and a half Texans are the favorite. Give me the Texans. It's the Cardinals. Then I got thinking. The brain started pumping, and I was like, wait a minute. What am I talking about? This is an easy take for the Cardinals here. So, the Arizona Cardinals are my one star. They're plus four and a half on the road against the Texans. And I know what you're saying. J.M., what the hell are you talking about, man? C.J. Stroud's on a roll. Texans are on a roll. They sure. beat the Bucs. They beat the Bengals on the road. This team's going to the playoffs. This team's winning the freaking division. Jaguars are slumping right now. Listen, are they? I like the Texans, all right? It's four and a half. I'm not saying they're going to win the game outright. Sprinkle a little money line. But I'm not saying they're going to win the game outright. It's four and a half. Maybe lose by a field goal. Let me tell you why. Texans are winning. True. Have they been winning by a lot? No, they won a game against the Bucks that they probably should have lost, but C.J. Stroud is a superman, and he led a game-winning drive. They end up winning the game 39-37. Last week, they should have pulled away from the Bengals. They couldn't. The Bengals actually ended up almost winning that game, and the Texans win the game by three points. So they're not winning convincingly. They're also 0-3 this year against the spread as a favorite. Texans are not good as a favorite. They're not used to being favorites. The yeah. Texans have been bad for a couple years 100%. now. But they're 0-3 as favorites. The Cardinals, Kyler Murray's back. He had a good game last week. I I, I think he gets a little too much disrespect. He's a good quarterback in this league. This I, I like the Cardinals coach. I think he's been doing a good job. I think Jonathan Gannon's been doing a good job. And I, I see this game as, as being a close game. Like I said, money line, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. It's why I'm, it's the one star. But I like them covering four and a half. Yeah, uh, the Cardinals, Kyler, too much disrespect. Uh, I'm a Kyler fan, and I would take the Cardinals in the spot as well. Yeah. All right, oh, the, Mike, the two star pick. We're gonna. It feels a little safe, okay? But I'm gonna take the Chiefs minus two and a half. Uh, I have. There's a cardinal rule in sports gambling where if the Chiefs are under a field goal favorite or a dog, you take them no matter right. what. 
The no, it should, it pays out right. incredibly like well. Like the Dolphins game last a couple weeks ago when you told me right. I'm an idiot. For and I and I went away from that in the Dolphin game and I got burned. I got yep. burned. Yep. Defensive touchdown for the 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 Chiefs. It screws me and I, and I get burned in that spot. But I'm not going to go away from that this week. I'm going to take it minus two and a half. Give it to me. Uh, both teams are off a bye, but Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes, historically specifically Andy Reid, historically off a bye are insane, straight up, against the spread. I don't care. Give me the minus two and a half to win this game by a field goal. Uh, that's really all I have to say. I think it's easy. The numbers speak for themselves. Andy Reid off a bye. It'll be a good, close game, possibly a sprinkle of the under, but they'll win by you know four or five points. Well, speaking of coming off of buys, mm-hmm. uh, my two-star is a team that's coming off of buy. Uh, I, I'm taking the Los Angeles Rams mm-hmm. plus one. This is a pick em. I'm taking Rams money line. I'm taking the Rams plus one at home against the Seattle Seahawks. Listen, Seahawks got away with one last week. They should have lost that game. Yeah. They didn't play their best football. And to be honest with you, I was high on the Seahawks coming into the year. At this point, I'm out on them. I think that they really? are not what their record says they are. I agree. I, th- I think they're they're limping to this six and three record that they have right now by the grace of God. They're six and three. I don't know how it's possible. They don't look great. But I'll tell you what, this Rams team, they beat the Seahawks convincingly week one on the road. The Rams are good off the bye. Sean McVay is a good head coach. I think the Rams are a little bit better than what their record says. It's a divisional game. They're home. I really, really, it, it was it was my three-star for a while. I ended up liking my three, the my you know, moving them down because I like another game that's going to be my three-star a little bit more. But I really, really like the Rams in this spot a lot. You could call me chicken. I'm afraid of this game. You know, I, I understand where you're coming from, and I think it's the sharp side, to be honest with you. I'm not on it at the moment in terms of I think I'm going to bet this, but it, it makes a lot of sense, especially with the way this, this Seahawk team has played. So I don't hate that pick whatsoever. And my three-star, it's very chalky. Um, it's a huge public side this week, but it just, you know what? It has been a public year, and I think this is a game that the public is going to get on Sunday, and I cannot believe I'm making this a three, so I really cannot. But it is the Miami Dolphins minus, and J.M., the website we're on says 13. It's 12 and a half, which is a yeah. huge yes. key number on yep. the sports book that we both use. It is 12 and a half, no free ads. <laughs> Give me the Dolphins minus the 12 and a half against the Las Vegas Raiders at home in Miami. Uh, we talk nice, about the Dolphins. Nice. We bash the Dolphins. Uh, the one thing they do, they beat bad teams and they mm-hmm. do it at home and they beat them badly. And this is a game where you have a team like the Las Vegas Raiders who are smoking cigars, talking up Antonio Pierce, Aiden O'Connell. Look at us. We're two and oh, you play two of the worst quarterbacks ever step on a football field for crying <laughs> out loud and Tommy DeVito for three quarters and Zach Wilson for four. So please. Okay. You want to celebrate all this? Watch what happens when you go to Miami and get beat down by three plus touchdowns minus 12 and a half give me the dolphins all right what, 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 what are we thinking here a little little two touchdown little three touchdown win you think this is like a like a route like a 31 13 okay 31 right. 13 that's a bet that 31 13 bet that i'm okay. betting that 31 13 all right three star time listen the numbers speak for themselves people okay Eight and two, the three-star pick is this year out of me. That's 80%. All right? I'm giving giving these out for free. You got to trust me, all right? And I hate to do it because, like, I don't want to be the guy that takes the same team all the time, but... You have a Detroit Lions hat? (laughs) Detroit Lions! Let's do it! We're facing Justin Fields. I mean, what the freaking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Justin Fields out there. He's coming off injury. We're eight and a half point favorites at home. We're the best team against the spread in the NFL. We're seven and two. We're undefeated against the spread at home. We're killing teams left and right with this amazing offense we have. The Bears suck. I mean, oh my goodness. They can't even, the Bears can't convincingly beat the Bryce Young led. Carolina Panthers at home in a primetime game. You think they're going to go on the road against the Lions who are rolling right now and hang a eight and a half? You think they're going to cover this? This is Lions 31. I'm, I'm stealing your line. This is 31-13 Lions. Are we serious? They're coming in the Motor City. They're getting 
Mm. I don't want to say. I don't. Motorboat. They're getting railed. All right, they're getting railed. That's Jared crazy. Goff is railing the Bears. All that's, right, that's crazy. Let's let's get a grip here, Vegas. And they're trying to get cute with this line. And they've been trying to get cute all year. And they're getting killed. And they're going to keep getting killed. My they're baby's s- moving around. They're certainly not going to keep getting killed. Lions. But you know why I have this hat? It's actually my dad's hat. I know. But your dad's a part Lion fan. Though. Yes. And so so am I, like, a little bit. Like, they were always my second team. Oh, yeah. Now they are. Yeah. When they because start. Because my dad. You come out of the woodwork. Long, long story short, my dad was, like, he played for the Lions as a kid. Oh. Like, not the actual Lions. Like, his, like, yeah. Huey team was the Lions. Yeah. No, he's a team. He's a Lion. Yeah. My dad is actually uh, Barry Sanders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Listen. We'll, listen. This star. is. This scares this game scares me. I, I, it would it would scare me. So keep being scared. Keep betting scared. All I right, understand. I, don't bet scared. I, I understand. Look right in the eyes. No, I listen. I, I just I might be opposite of you. We'll see though. We will see. Okay, Mike, uh, the Lions. I mean, I think Goff's covered eleven straight games. I mean, he's been the yeah. most profitable yeah. quarterback since twenty twenty two against the spread. He's been unbelievable. So uh, to ride with him is not a bad idea. Uh, all right, so my th- my three picks, obviously they're on the screen, but uh, I had the Panthers plus 10.5, Chiefs minus 2.5, and, and the Dolphins minus 12.5. Uh, yeah, last thing, we always try to throw in like a bonus bet or something. Uh, I don't really have like too many bonus bets. We usually try to say an over-under or something oh, like I that. Do. Chiefs 2-8 and eight over-unders this year. They cannot hit the over. Yeah. So, Chiefs can't hit the over. The primetime unders, I mean, they're just they're 25 and 7 at this yeah. point. Before the Thursday night game goes at 25 and 7. So mm-hmm. I would just bet those. And Giants, been, Commies, what what's that what's that over under? It's got 14? I don't know. I, I mean, I, if if it's anything more if it's anything more than 32 and a half, I'm going to take it. I'm not even kidding. My mouse is just is not working. Oh, good. No, please. Um, hold on. No, please. I got it. Do, Total. Do, 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 do. Total. Giants commies. 36 and a half. 36 and a half. 37 under. is under. Spots. Don't even think under. Take the commies, too, while you're at it. <laughs> uh, bonus bet. I would take the Ravens minus three and a half. I think they're going to beat down on right, the Bengals. Right. Good thing this comes out on Saturday morning, and that's happening on Thursday oh, well, night. Oh, I know. I forgot what I do. Right. I say this is what I'm taking on Thursday night, and then right. we'll see if it hits. I've been. I'm great. taking the under in I've this game. Been great on, on Thursday, Thursday night. nights. We'll go under with JM on this Thursday night game and minus three and a half. Come back, see if we win those. Here we go. We're together on that. The Ravens are gonna kill them though. So that'll do it. Week 11 gambling show in the books. Please like, subscribe on the YouTube page. We appreciate the support.